Today we have a big one as Linus Torvalds accuses a maintainer of malicious behavior. A trusted Linux developer submitted a pull request with falsified commit metadata, prompting Linus to accuse him of malicious activity and an account suspension. Let's start reading about where it all began. So there was a pull request for hardening fixes for a version 6.16 RC1 of the Linux kernel made by Case here. And this message is from Linus to Case in response to please pull this small handful of hardening fixes for version 6.16. WTF Case, you seem to have actively maliciously modified your tree completely. There are completely crazy commits in there that are entirely fake. You have this SHA1 ID merge tag under driver core 6.16 RC1 of this merge link, which claims to be for me and committed by me, but is very much not. It's some garbage that you've entirely made up. So for those of you unaware, Linus is saying that case included a commit in his code that pretends to be from Linus and is completely not real. The commit uses Linus's name and email on it that case intentionally or not created and Linus calls it completely made up. So you can tell why this is such a big deal. Why would someone maliciously try to submit a commit like that? Well, let's keep getting into it because Linus is not happy. But before we do, take a moment and subscribe below. You wouldn't want to miss another video like this. YouTube can get finicky and also smash that like button as this drama really starts to unfold here. Yes, there is a real commit like that, but it has the SHA1 ID of this right here. And this isn't some kind of innocent rebasing mistake because this actively lies about who committed it. This is completely unacceptable. I will now refuse to pull anything from you until you explain what the F you have been up to because this looks like you have been doing actively bad things. You need to nuke that tree and come up with a good explanation for this kind of shit. I'm CCing Constantin because I really think these kinds of games are completely unacceptable. And this is not for the kind of behavior we can have on kernel.org accounts. Constantin, please disable Case's account immediately until this is cleared up because this looks malicious. Signed off, Linus. Strong words from Linus Horvalds himself as there was a real version of Case's submit a commit, but Case also included a fake version with the wrong ID. And this isn't just a simple mistake, it's a bad rebase. It falsely says that Linus created a commit, which is a serious violation of trust, as you can imagine. Linus is now refusing to accept any more code from Case until a clear explanation can come from this, and it'll be interesting what kind of explanation we get. We're going to get into that as Case did respond to this. Also, when Linus says nuke that tree, he is saying that the whole current code tree is not usable, therefore Case should delete it. And finally, we see that Linus contacts Constantin, who is the kernel.org admin and asks him to suspend Case's developer account, saying this is just unacceptable behavior. This is a major incident. Faked or seriously mishandled, it doesn't matter. This could have damaged the project's integrity. And you can tell that Linus is not happy of this and is taking very strong action against it. Let's see what Case's response is. All right, this one is from Case to Linus and in response to what Linus originally wrote here that we just read. I have no idea. I had noticed a bunch of my trees were refusing to have sane merges. I kept trying to rebase them and sort them out, but it seems like it has not worked. This is all on top of an SSD that was getting mad at me and I had to replace it, but it threw errors during the copy. I thought everything got recovered in my various work trees, but clearly something is still wrong. And in response to, you need to nuke that tree and come up with a good explanation for this, Case says, I'll throw it all out and rebuild from patches. I don't believe we still got a good explanation though. Moving on, says, sorry, as far as I can tell, it's all just from broken trees I tried to reconstruct. Badly, it seems. Since I can't push to kernel.org, what shall I do for resending the pull request after I've re-reconstructed everything? Signed off Case. So Case seemingly apologizes, explaining that the issues with the merge errors in his Git trees were caused while his SSD was failing and errors occurred. Then he thought when he recovered the data, some of the Git data was corrupted and led to the bad commits that Linus saw. He agreed to delete everything and rebuild and claims not to have done anything malicious on purpose, seemingly blaming corrupted Git data and a failing storage disk for this mess. Interestingly enough, I don't know how you try to commit code as someone else, such as Linus Torvalds himself says, even with this explanation, let's keep going on because Linus did respond to this but before we get into this, if you're ready to level up your Linux experience, check out my Linux cheat sheet checklist and my map 
with new Linux flashcards at SavvyNick.com and get them today. Now we get into Linus's response to, response to case. All right, the rebase history would explain that. But the reason I'm upset about it is that I don't even see how that rebasing could have possibly happened by mistake. Any normal git merge rebasing should rewrite the committer. So to get that kind of rewritten history that I saw, it almost has to be intentional. I don't see how this happened by mistake. At a minimum, there is some truly effed up scripting going on. Because it wasn't just one or two commits, it was a whole slew of them. I mentioned one, but there were thousands of rewritten commits. That bad branch of yours had 330 merge commits that were attributed to me. Both authorship and commit information and weren't actually from my tree. And those are just my commits. Never mind the 6,000 plus other commits that didn't purport to be for me. This is not some discorruption issue. There was real work involved in recreating 330 copies of my merges and 6,000 copies of other people's commits. I only looked at one, but it appears identical except for the lack of some source tag signature information. And then all the subsequent ones that depend on it will obviously then have different parent SHA ones, etc. Signed off Linus. And as I mentioned before, it really does sound like this was reckless and not just a SSD error, if not malicious. As Linus outlines the rejection of the excuse that the problem was just a disk corruption issue, because the scale of the problem, there's thousands of commits, 330 just pretending to be Linus. So there's more, which suggests that this was not a one-off. It looks like someone actually went through a lot of trouble, knowingly or not, to rebuild commits, signing them off as someone else, which breaks the trust and the process that Linus has put in place. So what Linus concludes here is that this was not a random fluke, that something is very wrong here, and he wants to still understand what's going on with Case's Git process or setup or whatever scripts he has, as this is a big deal. Linus thinks this issue is too big to pass up, and as I also said, it looks intentional and a complete reckless misuse of Git. That's why Linus is not accepting the explanation that Case gave, as Case then gets defensive in the last message that we have here, saying that, well, I didn't do it on purpose. I think I have an established track record of asking you first before I intentionally do stupid things with Git. Like the recent prefix collision POC1 that I previously emailed you about. I'm trying to figure it out now. I must have shot myself in the foot somewhere since I had a number of by hand things going on this week. My current guess while AFK was that something went sideways while trying to rebase my 4NX hardening versus my 4 Linus hardening trees. Since I had at one point base for my next on this commit right here. Since I was still working on the W unterminated string initialization patches, normally I exclusively rebase or base on RC2, then I had SSD failure, but things seemed okay after that. But when I did the build for Linus hardening tree, I rebased patches that were on top of the 4NX over on the latest master because basing it on one past RC3 seemed weird. It was around here where I started having problems, but like I said, I'll see if I can reproduce it. I have a lot of scripting to sanity check my pushes and I stupidly overrode them because normally they get angry when I'm not basing on RC2, etc. but I've never had anything like this happen. Signed off Case. And in short here, to get a better understanding, Case claims they were juggling branches, rebasing, and dealing with SSD failure. And he bypassed some of the Git safeguards which likely led to this broken history and created false looking commits and claims it's accidental and not malicious. The problem here is, as in my opinion, it still looks malicious or at least reckless. If Case is an experienced maintainer, he knows how strict the Linux kernel commit and merge process is. This means he should have recognized red flags, like the 330 plus fake merge commits and thousands of rewritten commits. He bypassed his own sanity check. He admits that he disabled scripts or at least ignored warnings made by them, which shows a conscious decision to just ignore safeguards. He also seemingly didn't notify anyone earlier. Why would he submit the pull request and the malicious commit in a high trust environment like in kernel development as it's completely risky? 330 commits falsified and over 6,000 commits rewritten improperly. You would think at the caliber of Case's level, he should not have missed this or ignored it. By fake authoring something and recommitting signed merges, it compromises the trust, especially of Linus Torvalds. So I'll be interested in seeing what Linus comes back with as this is the end of the chain currently on the conversation between Case and Linus. 
Even if Case didn't act with bad intent, it definitely shows a lapse in judgment for not verifying his trees more carefully, not stopping to ask for help, and ignoring clear signs of something that went very wrong. So I completely understand Linus's strong reaction to this, and we'll see what comes of this in the future. And if you want to make sure to follow along, don't forget to subscribe below. Also smash that like button on the way back up so this gets out to more people. As this is a reminder of how fragile trust can be in open source projects, especially something as big as the Linux kernel. Even seasoned maintainers aren't immune to making mistakes and the fallout from those mistakes can be swift and severe. Hopefully this will all be recovered and Case will be able to work things out with Linus, but hopefully they understand why rigorous review, cautious workflow, and clear communication are non-negotiable for everyone when it comes to open source development. We'll see how this plays out and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.